Late last year I designed a new type of compost bin. It's a pretty simple concept, it's an insulated compost bin. With the air coming in the bottom uh, rather than um, a heap like most people do. I built the prototype in November. It was just made from scrap pieces of wood and polycarbonate I had lying about. The first problem I had was it split open. Uh, the, the screws were garbage. Um, so I had to quickly repair that. That was the first problem. And uh, the compost was very wet because it was November, so it didn't really heat up great. You can see the sides needed insulating. So it, it effectively is insulated on all sides. Uh, I ran it for a little while with just the, just the sides insulated to see if it would warm up at all. And it was not really that great. It wasn't warming up brilliantly. Uh, probably not enough nitrogen in the compost because it was old compost and leaves lying about. But once I got the top on, uh, it's now completely sealed, completely insulated bin. Uh, and that worked great. I finished it in about February. So there wasn't a lot of high nitrogen material about, you know. Um, so it kind of sat for a few weeks. Uh, but as soon as I could get a grass cut, and I added uh, some leaves and some um, manure. As soon as I added a bit of nitrogen, um, this is what happened. It just kicked off like a boiler. And it was unbelievably efficient. Uh, there's no real heat looking like it's coming out until you open it up. We've got 60 degrees in there. And it's been running like that uh, for six months or more. If you feed it uh, enough feedstock, it'll just keep producing 60 degrees heat. It does take quite a lot of compost to keep it running though. I'm putting at least a barrel load a day into this thing. I've tried all sorts on it. Uh, old leaves, manure, grass clippings, um, coffee grounds from a restaurant. It just goes like a, a boiler. It's absolutely brilliant because none of the heat is wasted out the sides. Uh, the bottom slot lets enough oxygen in, uh, so I've had no issues with stink or anaerobic decomposition. If you don't put anything on it for uh, like two weeks or something, the temperature will drop to about uh, 30 or 40 degrees and it forms like a mat of fungal material. Looks like cotton wool. To clear it out, I just use a rake and shove it in the bottom letterbox. Uh, you have to shove it right to the back and get a complete layer. You can remove all of the bottom layer and the compost will kind of hold itself in place for a, for a bit, for like a few hours. And then overnight it drops down. So you can clear out the hole underneath of it without it drop, constantly dropping down. Uh, the next job would be to fit the heat pipes um, so that I can heat the underfloor heat in the dome. There's been no point in doing that over the summer because obviously I haven't needed the heat in the dome. So that's going to be my next test is to see uh, how much uh, warm water this can generate and if it can, if it can make a difference to heating the dome. I'll do a more detailed video uh, later on in the year, uh, but if you've got any questions in the meantime, uh, just drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.